What's up guys and welcome back. So it is that time again. We are gonna be testing out some new makeup in today's video. As you can see, I'm completely makeup free. We're gonna be doing a full face. I'm gonna be giving you guys my first impressions. Some of the products here are completely brand new. Some of them aren't really completely brand new, but they're new to me and I'll just be giving you guys my thoughts on them today. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Um, I don't really wanna like ramble on and on because you guys you guys know the drill. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you want to join the fam because I don't know if you, if you couldn't realize yet yeah, the fam here is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Let's get started. I have so many products here that I just want to get on my face as soon as possible. So let's do this. Okay, so I do want to start off with my eyes today because I have a feeling that the palette that I'm gonna be using is gonna give me a little bit of fallout. So I'm so excited to try this out finally. I've heard such great things about this palette. A lot of people have been raving about it. This is the Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors Friendcation palette. The colors in here really are just everything. I really feel like all the shades in here are shades that I could see myself wearing, specifically Dirty Money, which is this beautiful green gold shade, and also this like blackened blue. This is so stunning, and I think this is the one we're going to play with today, just because just because I don't feel like I've done like a really dramatic and smoky makeup look in mm, months. Let's get started. I'm first going to prime my lids with a little paint pot from MAC. This is Groundwork. It's a really nice little taupey shade. I wanted to use something that is a little bit darker as my base. I didn't want to just use concealer since I am planning on doing a bit more of like a smokier look today, which is why I'm going with Groundwork, which is a bit of like a cool tone taupe. So it's just gonna already like add some depth to this look even before I put eyeshadow on. So I'm first gonna go into this shade right over here in this palette. So I'm just gonna put this shade right above my crease and this is going to act as our transition shade. It's not really much darker than the groundwork color that we just applied, but it is just still gonna add a nice shadow there. I really want this look to be really nice and like winged out and very dramatic, so. That's the vibe that we're gonna be going for today. Now I'm gonna go into a smaller blending brush and I'm going to grab this shade right over here, which is this like really pretty warm brown. And I'm going to pop this more so like directly into my crease and on my outer corner of my eye. I really do wanna concentrate most of the darkness of this look on the outer corner. I don't wanna bring the darkness completely towards the inner corner of my eye because for me, I just don't feel like that's the most flattering for my eye shape. I feel like it sort of closes off my eye. That applied really, really nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the deep dark brown shade right over here. This is another really just nice, simple, basic color that is always good to have in a palette. But this brown is very intense and pigmented. Wow. It is now time for the fun part, I'm so excited. So this is a really pretty like bluish black gunmetal shade and I am going to apply this with my finger. I feel like this is the only way to apply these types of shadows. Now this is a lot smoother than I expected. I honestly thought when I would go in to like touch that eyeshadow that it would feel pretty chunky, but it doesn't at all. It feels very smooth. Oh my God, this is beautiful. <gasps> I'm shocked at how intense this actually is right off the bat. Like there's no Fix Plus on my finger, obviously. This is not being applied wet. This is completely dry and it looks so shimmery and foily. That is so pretty. Okay, you know what? F that. I'm bringing this color all the way towards the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> I love how I just went on like a whole spiel saying how I wanted to keep the inner corner of my eye completely bare. I completely just take that all back. And now I'm gonna go into this small blending brush that I use and sort of just like buff along the edge to make sure that it's blended nicely with all the other matte colors that we applied and that there's no like harshness anywhere. That was really quick and easy. That took me like literally no time to do and I have a full on smoky eye right now. So I'm pretty happy with the results of this. So now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes, get rid of any of that fallout that came down. And there is quite a bit of fallout. And I'm also gonna clean up on that outer corner to really sharpen things up a bit. Okay, I do sort of wanna put a little bit of a black line on my upper lash line. I don't wanna go in with the liquid though because I don't want it to be harsh. So I'm just gonna take this little pencil. I just grabbed, honestly, whatever black pencil I could get my hands on as quickly as possible. This is the Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. And I'm just going to swipe this on the outer corner of my eye towards my lash line just to add some depth there. I always feel like with a smoky eye, even adding just a little bit of a black line makes the biggest difference in the world. 
just to sort of like ground the look a little bit. Now I'm just gonna go into like a small little shader brush. This is my Real Techniques Detail Brush. And I'm just going to gently buff it so that it's not too intense and it's sort of like blended into the, uh, the eyeshadow that we already have going on. Now I wanna move on to the base and we'll come back to the eyes once like my concealer is done and all that. So I'm going to first put on a little bit of a primer. So this is the Clarins Pore Control and it's a pore minimizing serum that smooths skin texture and it gives you healthy radiance. So that sounded very interesting to me. I feel like my pores have been a little bit out there lately. They're, they're showing themselves a little bit more than usual. So I wanna put just a little bit of this product like in the center of my face. It looks like this. It's sort of just like a moisturizer texture. It smells, ooh, it smells really nice. Sort of smells like perfume though, which is slightly concerning. <laughs> oh my God, this feels beautiful. It feels like a moisturizer when you first start to massage it into the skin, but then it sort of like starts to transform until this like really silky texture, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna pill like a lot of those products often do on me. It feels really nice. So next up, it is finally time for me to try the A Cosmetic CC Oil-Free Matte Foundation. I don't know what took me so long to try this product because you guys know how completely obsessed I am with the original A Cosmetic CC, but um, for some reason, I don't know, I, this has just sort of been sitting in my makeup collection for a while and it's finally time for me to test this out and see how it compares to the original. I think the reason why I haven't been testing this out is because my hopes really aren't too high for this product. You guys know I have a drier skin type. I also prefer dewier foundation. So I don't know how an oil-free matte foundation is gonna work for me, but you never know. I'm gonna be using the shade light medium today, which hopefully should match me pretty, pretty good. Yes, this is looking good. And to apply it, I'm gonna take my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. Do not be fooled by the name of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, even though this is a CC cream. It has like quite a nice amount of coverage, so a little bit of product typically will go a pretty long way. Okay, my immediate thoughts, I can definitely, definitely tell that this is not as glowy, obviously, as the original foundation. It has way more of a matte finish, and I sort of feel like it's looking a little bit dry on my face already. This is disappointing. It's weird, I feel like I haven't really heard anybody talk about this product, so I don't even really know what like the general consensus is around this foundation. So first impressions on this product, I am not a fan. <laughs> I feel like it is looking a little bit dry on my face, like very, very dry on my face. It's really accentuating a lot of my texture. It looks good from afar, it looks actually really nice on camera, but in person, up close, not a fan. So next up for my concealer, I'm finally going to be trying out this Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is supposed to be pretty full coverage, which is why I wanted to use it today. That is an interesting little applicator. It's like a, it's a ball. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath the eye. I have a feeling this is going to be very full coverage, so I'm not going to over apply too much of this. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using my JH08 brush. This is a really nice, just like small concealer brush. And I'm just going to pat this out. I actually like that quite a bit. I feel like that gave me a really nice amount of coverage. It blended out really easily and it's looking good underneath my eyes. It has a really nice, just like subtle natural glow to it, which I like. This is sort of reminding me a little bit of like the Tarte Shape Tape. It has a very like similar vibe in that it's like full coverage, but not a super thick formula either. For my second concealer today, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. This is supposed to be a little bit more lightweight. So I thought that this would be nice to use to highlight the rest of my face. So I'm gonna put some of this down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, around my nose, and on my forehead. I'm looking at this foundation more and more, and the more I'm looking at it, the more I really don't like it. It is like becoming so chalky and dry on my skin. This is everything I don't like about a foundation. This is so upsetting. It's so funny how like one version of foundation could be my absolute favorite foundation ever, and like a holy grail, and then another version is just literally my nightmare. <laughs> I really like this concealer though. I like the way that blended. I like the way it's looking on the skin. All right, pretty good. I was going to powder a little bit, but um, now that I'm realizing how 
dry this foundation actually is. I do not want powder to touch my face with a 10 foot pole because it will just make it look so much worse. Even my under eyes, I feel like don't really need powder. Um, they feel like they have set down. So this may be a powderless concealer. We'll see though if it ends up creasing. So I'll keep you guys updated by the end of the video. But in the meantime, let us finish off the eyes to get them done and over with. Back into the palette and I'm gonna grab this shade right over here, that warm brown. And on my fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff that on my lower lashes just to sort of add a little bit of a shadow there. You know what, I almost don't even wanna to add too much more on my lower lash line, just so that it's not completely overwhelming and also closes off my eye. I am, however, going to line my waterline with a little bit of black, so I'm going to take my Man Eater eyeliner once again, and I'm going to line not only my bottom waterline, but also my upper waterline, just to really like create that really pretty darkness there. If you are doing a, a smoky eye, you have to, like have to line your upper waterline at least because otherwise you can get that like floating lash line look where it will look a little bit blank and that's not a look that you're gonna want. Just to sort of like highlight a little bit on my inner corner, I'm gonna take the matte cream and pop that on the inner corner of my eye. Because the lids are so shimmery and so intense themselves, I don't even really want to put anything shimmery on my inner corner because I wanna keep the shimmer really only on the lid and everything else matte. I feel like that gives the most impact. Okay, finishing off the eyes with the lashes, I'm going to use this Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. I've never used this mascara. I've used so many of the other Essence mascaras and they're all so great and very, very, very inexpensive and affordable. This is already like curling my lashes like crazy. Holy crap. This wand is really nice. It has like a really nice subtle curve to it. And I like that the wand isn't like overly large and a charge. So I am actually able to like get towards the inner part of my eye without getting mascara all over my face. That is beautiful. Wow. So I'm just gonna go off camera and very quickly finish off my brows and then I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. face. Let us bronze a little bit. I'm really excited to try this out. This is the Beauty Counter Radiant All Over Bronzer in the shade Cabana. Um, I feel like Beauty Counter really isn't a super well-known brand. Um, they're a little bit underrated in my personal opinion. A lot of the products that I've tried for them are beautiful. Their powders especially are like, so nice like when you touch this powder there's literally like no powder kickback whatsoever because it's so creamy so you know that when you're gonna apply it to your face it's gonna apply in like a really nice smooth fashion it has a nice like soft glow to it it's not overly um shimmery there's no like visible gold or anything it just has a bit of a glow i think the color is actually really really pretty it's warm without being orange I really like this. This is going to be going in my everyday vanity. I really like the way it's looking on my skin too. It doesn't look powdery at all. So I recently just got this palette from NARS in the mail. I'm so excited to try this out. First of all, the packaging. Can we just take a moment for this? And the inside is just as gorgeous. Like look at the texture of those powders. So this is a hot, oh God, I don't know how to say this word. Hot triced, hot, I don't know. I'm gonna put the name somewhere on the screen. This is a cheek palette and there's basically highlighters and blushes in here, but these blushes in here are sort of like highlighter blushes. They do have a pretty intense glow to them. For this look, because there's so much going on in the eyes, I wanna do a pretty soft blush. So I'm gonna go with this shade right over here and we'll see how that looks. So I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown blush brush. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> when I say, oh my God, 30,000 times in a row, that's when you know I really like a product. Wow, okay, yes. It's not as intense as I thought it was going to be. It just gives the cheeks like a little bit of that glossy reflection, but it doesn't look shimmery at all. And it's still very, very flattering. Wow, I really like that. Okay, now let's actually highlight. I'm going to take this shade right over here on my Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is this is what I like my powder highlighter to look like. This is one of those powder highlighters that looks like a cream or a liquid because it just sort of like meshes into the skin so perfectly and it's not overly intense or unflattering. It just gives you that amazing glossy effect. I freaking love that and I love the blush. 
I love everything about this cheek look. This is also going in my everyday vanity. Okay, so time to finish this look off the lips. Now I really wanted to do something very like sheer and glossy. I was in an event over the weekend. So I was sitting next to a girl who was like applying her lip gloss and I look over and I just could not stop staring at her lips. The gloss that she was applying was literally the most perfect, like glossy, juicy, glittery gloss I had ever seen. And I stopped her and I was like, please tell me what you're applying on your lips right now. So she showed me, it was actually this gloss over here and I ended up taking a picture of it because I knew I wanted to pick it up. And when I got back home, cause that, this event was in Toronto, I actually got this in PR and I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, this was the gloss that she was wearing. So this is the Buxom gloss in the shade Celeste. And it is just like a glittery, glittery, beautiful, vial of goodness. So that is what we're going to be applying today, but I'm first going to line my lips with a little bit of liner. This is the Nabla Velvet Line Long Lasting Lip Pencil in the shade Touch Me. Ooh, that is a really nice color actually. This is like very similar to my actual lip color, just a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go into the gloss. This better look as good on me as it did on her, otherwise I'm going to be very, very upset. This is everything I wanted. I feel like it did look so much better on her though. Cause she had just like really great lips. <laughs> yeah, this just made my lips also look like 30 times their size because it's so glossy and glittery. No words. So now that my makeup is actually done and I've sort of been sitting here for the last hour with the foundation on my face, I'm gonna take another look. We're gonna assess and I'm gonna give you guys my my thoughts right now. So all the concealer, still looking great. It is not creased at all. I, this is definitely going to be a concealer that I am going to be wearing without powder because it doesn't look like it really needs it. Um, as far as the foundation goes, I feel like I have like some mixed feelings with it because on the areas that my skin is really dry, so like around like this area, it looks like crap. But on all the other areas of my face, so basically like here up, it looks really nice. Like it made my skin look pretty poreless and perfected, which I actually quite like. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a foundation that I'm gonna have to sort of try out a little bit more, maybe try some different combinations with because I feel like there is potential in it. But overall, I feel like this was a pretty successful little try on session. Everything else that I put on my face, I really, really love. Like, I had so much fun playing with all this makeup today. I am really loving this eye look. I feel like more cool tone smoky eyes are definitely needed here on my channel. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below, your thoughts on the products that I used today. If you tried them, if you had a different experience, I would love to hear it down there. Of course, it's a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in the next one bye